Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Now I'm on part two of the patio path build. I'm just off to the builders merchants to see if I can hire their tipper truck. I need some sand, need some gravel and some cement. So I'm gonna put my sand or my pea shingle on top of here so it doesn't mix in with the gray gravel. And then after I've used it, I'm gonna take the cardboard and I'm gonna put it on the beds that I've dug over to suppress the weeds. Well, I've managed to get the little tipper so I can get me stone and get this project underway. Might have to come back for some sand and blocks and some cement, but yeah, just uh, relieved that I could manage to hire the tipper today. No? Well, it was just about to load it up and then someone come out and said, no, it's already booked. <laughs> I've got to come back this afternoon. Never mind. I'll get the rest of the stuff, put it in my car and come back at two o'clock this afternoon. That's the way it goes. Well, at least I managed to get some sand, cement, and some more blocks. So, yeah, I'll be back at two o'clock. But let's just uh, have a quick look at the plants they've got here. You've got your climbing jasmines. Let's have a look at the fruit trees. Yeah. Okay, a good selection of fruit bushes. What's on offer? Yeah, they do have special offers on at certain times of the year. You have to grab them while you can, so see if anything takes me fancy. Camellias, that's on offer. I think I'll make a separate trip for the plants. I don't want to rush into it. Right, let's get paying this ticket. Sun's out, it's going to be a lovely day. So my main priority today is get these blocks levelled. I'll do a bit more digging. I'm going to set the step in some sand and cement so it makes it nice and secure. I've got some stone to pick up this afternoon. So I'll get my tools together and I'll show you what I'm doing. So where the pegs are in the ground, the wooden stakes, that's my exterior line of where the blocks are going to run and all the dirt below has got to be dug out and levelled. And then this here will be the step naturally from the path down into what will be soon the patio area. Needs a little imagination at the moment but it will soon be there. And these are the pockets that I mentioned that are going to be planted up with maybe some aromatic plants. It's going to be a fire pit in this section here which we do barbecuing on so maybe some aromatics around the outside so as i'm digging out all the soil the top of the turfs will go to another area now the good soil underneath i'll put that on a piece of tarpaulin once the blocks are all laid down that soil can go into the bottom with some gravel and some sand to create a bit more drainage and then i'll top it off with more appropriate compost for the top so Time to speed things up a little. So I've got the rough outline of my shape there for the retaining wall. The top soil is gonna go on this pile here. The rest of the turfs, if I dig out any grass or any soil, will go in this depression here. Uh, I had a vegetable bed in there one day and uh, we've done away with it and it's, it's sort of dropped a little bit there. So just gonna build it up, break it all up. And that'll knit together lovely. Ah, oh, that's better. Everything's always better after a cup of tea. <laughs> yes, yeah, unusually warm today. Very, uh, very strange. It has been quite fresh lately, but today definitely feels like a spring day. So, uh, nice weather for digging. 
talking of which let's get this over and done with <laughs> let's go so now for my next trick will be to dig along the base of where the blocks will sit create a nice flat level surface lay the blocks in and then any topsoil from now on once I've secured them all in will go into the bottom of the blocks into the pockets so yeah, make good progress so while I just sit down and have a quick break I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for your support all the patreons buy me a coffee you know even just watching the channel helps me immensely I always try my best to read through the comments and reply where possible but when you start getting lots and lots of comments it's quite difficult as you can appreciate so anyway I've been reading through some on the last um, vlog that I've done um, regarding the planting pockets um, now I think a majority of you said go for the aromatics which I'm probably going to maybe uh, mint rosemary lavender and maybe yeah alternate them so it looks nice a bit of different color and yeah just uh, it'll be not, uh, give a nice fragrance as well so we do a lot of cooking here as I mentioned before in the barbecue so it'd be good to have herbs at hand when you're cooking so I think that's what I'm going to go with hopefully going to get all of this done today all the all the block work anyway I've got to pick the stone up and put the membrane down so yeah we've gained an extra hour because the clocks have changed so that's helped me a little bit it's taking shape so I'll need a few more blocks, just laid it out roughly, got them roughly levelled. A little bit more work, a bit more digging, some edgings. Timber going across there to hold back the gravel from the grass. And we've got a step going in that side. And then some membrane and then the gravel. So I've got me gravel now, the weather's changed, the wind has really got up. Quite bizarre all of a sudden, still warm, but before I get the gravel down in the patio area, I've still got to do a bit of digging, so let's get that sorted out. So, just got to do a bit more digging here, around here. Got some more blocks, so let's get this done. Now I've got all the blocks in place, I'm going to put the membrane down and I'm going to start burying in the gravel. Uh, if the weather holds out, it looks pretty nice at the moment, but there is rain forecast. I'll get the uh, concreting done for the step, get that set, and then yeah, we can move on to the next phase. So let's just see how far I'll get today. So I'll get set up, let's have a bit of time lapse.
So I've managed to get a good layer of gravel down. It holds the membrane down because it's getting quite windy. Weather's on the change. So I've still got some retaining timbers to put across there to keep the gravel away from the grass. And I've still got to concrete the stepping. But the weather's looking a little bit hmm, changeable to say the least. So you'll have to join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.